In this video, I'll show you how to create this info card using Elementor. Before starting this video, I want to tell you that if you want us on your WordPress project or any website project, then you can contact us through our website that's dickcreato.com or you can contact through the link given in the description below. We are a team of developers who will try your best to create your website successfully. So now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's see how to create this. At first, you can see this the heading title and then three cards so among them you can see the middle one is looking attractive right the this is the curved shadow with the nice hover effect you can see here the curved blob this is called blob shape i will show you later how to create this and to create this effect we will need only elementor free version without any no coding no element row so let's go to the dashboard and create this info cards so here I am on the Elementor and as you can see here this one title I just made it for you. You can see it also I am clicking on the edit button and you can see the basic CSS is written. So you can do it as well. Now the main thing is to create the cards. So create the cards at first click on the ruby square icon. Then we have to place the inner section. We will use the inner section. So drag and drop the inner section right here. And then you will see the two columns. So at first time click on the plus icon and then placing one icon so place an icon here and then click on the risk icon and let's place one heading here we'll customize it later sorry i'm deleting it and then i'm placing one text editor here okay so now at first this is the heading size is too big so let's reduce the size at first and then typography i'm choosing the poppins font and then this is the 800 extra volt will be and i think 600 symbol will find right this is this is the semi title so let's keep it to 25 pixel and then this is the paragraph text so it's the same also in the poppins font here is also i'm using poppins font so to change the icon click on the icon library and then i'm selecting the pen icon and then this is the pen nib icon so click on insert and i am giving the alignment to left and uh, here is this uh, style tab to go to the style tab at first then primary color sorry i am giving it to stacked view yes right i am giving it to stacked view and uh, in the style tab i am giving the size at first so let's keep it to 30 pixel all right now it's look good now as a primary color i am already set a global color so let's click on this theme accent color and then as a secondary color i am using this main theme color all right now it's look good now this is the text content so let's import this text here is your text right and then this is the lorem ipsum it's now good so let's duplicate this so before duplicating i forgot to give the margin and padding so let's keep the margin click on this main container main column right and then go to the advanced tab and in the padding section i am giving it to 40 pixel from all around and then i am click on duplicate so again i am duplicating and deleting the empty column now it's look good all right so now change the icons at first so i am giving the icon library and uh, selecting clipboard so this is the clipboard i chose and then the third one chart this is the chart icon right so this is the chart icon i will be choosed and then this is the content so let's import the content first here is your content so here is the third content is now ready so now add the box shadow right this is the main thing we have to do at first to just uh, make the eye catchy in the middle column for the middle column so let's click on this column icon and then go to the style tab and as a background we have to choose one blob image so what is now blob image you may think that so blob image is type of like this type of shapes as you can see here i will already uh, give you the link in the description you can also check it out with the website there is a lots of website which you, we can make the blob shape so i'm giving it this simple website that's called magic pattern i will put the link in the description you can also check it out so here you have to just 
click on the color and you have to choose any color as you want i'm selecting this like lavender type color so it, you can select the edges also you can give the smoothness and then you can also feel the grain that this effect and at last you can also rotate this refresh this graphic to change the shapes right then to export this how to export this then you can see here this maybe this pop-up will not come if you if you are first time using so you have to just click on export then you have to click on png and then must click on this remove background and then click on download it will be automatically downloaded right so this is the this is how you can put the blob shape without using any css code and if you want to use the css code this is the css code link you can also use this if you want that i use the css code using the blob so comment down below i will make the video on that so now let's move on the blob image so here is your elementary website and here you have to add the blob image here so i'm clicking on the blob image and then i already uploaded this so let's select this so after selecting you may see that this is not visible so let as first repeat will be no repeat selecting this and display size will be don't select this display size will be do it in custom so in the attachment there will be nothing to do and the position we have to do this custom and then i am selecting the pos position so let's select this drag and drop here like this i am giving it to like 435 and the y position i am giving it to 735 minus 735 right so now you may see that this is the icon this is an overlapping so i am clicking on this icon and uh, here is the style tab and this is the primary color so i am giving this opacity reducing opacity to not to see this will not to visible this so now select the column and go to the style tab and here is the border so i am giving the border ds to 10 pixel and then this is the box shadow so let's give this box shadow vertical will be 20 pixel and this blur will be 45 let's see and spread will be like 25 so 25 yes i think this is too much so let's move on the spread to 25 yes now it's look good so now we have to do the customization of this blob image to after that after hovering it will come up right so let's go to the background and then this is the hover section click on the hover and the background type let's say i'm selecting this blob again and then again the, we have to do settings repeat will be no repeat and then this position will be custom and i'm giving here minus 435 and next 735 next we have to just keep it this 735 to 725 and if i am hovering now you can see the smooth hovering effect is here and we can also decrease and increase the speed by putting here the value transition duration so i am giving it 0 0.4 second so if i am hovering now you can see the smooth coming effect from top to bottom okay so now we are ready to go with this info card section so you can use this idea to innovate your website to showcase your creativity at anywhere you want so that's how you can create this info card section using elementor and if you are facing any issue to create this then just comment down below you will solve your problem shortly i hope you learned something new today if this video is helpful for you then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel also press the bell icon to get the first notification of the new video thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time